Gerslauer Sky Rollers or Sky Flies are some of my favorite flat rides out there. If you get the technique down, you can flip dozens of times, and that's not an exaggeration, but I will admit there is a bit of a learning curve to these rides. In this video, I will explain how you can flip non-stop in these rides. The technique I'm about to describe works for a series of flat rides where you're given paddles that control the experience. You can either keep them steady for a tame and scenic ride, or you can rock them to start flipping. This is what I do. Some rides at the setup include the Gerslauer Sky Roller. This rides a central tower. The vehicles rise to the top and spin in a circle. Examples of this ride include Skyhawk at Canada's Wonderland and Goddard at Belantis. Some parks put these rides atop hills, which makes it even easier to flip. The Gerslauer Skyfly is a diagonal arm that spins in a circle. Examples of this ride include TMNT Shell Shock at Mall of America's Nickelodeon Universe and Skyfly at Holiday Park. The technical park Aerobaz is basically an enterprise with rocking vehicles I've described. Examples of this ride include Squadron 33 at Playland's Castaway Cove and Apocalypseburg Sky Battle at Legoland Billund. These two manufacturers as well as some others are continuing to induce new variants in this experience, but the fundamentals remain the same. The first key is to move your paddles together. You need to move them in opposite directions at the same time. To rock right, you push the right paddle down as you lift the left one up. To rock left, you push the left paddle down as you lift the right one up. The second key is to throw your weight into it. It doesn't matter which side you start throwing your weight around, the key is to alternate every time you change the paddles. You need to push your body sideways with all your might. I know it's a bit of a workout. The third key is to be patient. You need to trust the process. It will take a bit to get it going, but it's worth it once you get that first flip. So you start by rocking right. All together, you want to throw your body right, push one fin down, and lift one fin up. It doesn't matter which fin goes up and which goes down, as long as you do something different on both of them. You then want to hold all three in place. Do not move your body or fins until the vehicle rocks as far as it will going right. Once the vehicle stalls out, rapidly reverse direction. Reverse the directions of both fins and throw your body left. Hold these in place until the vehicle rocks as far as it will going left. Keep repeating these two steps back to back. With each pass, you should rock further and further to the side. After a few rotations, you should get that first flip. You may stall upside down during this process. When this happens, you have two options. You can wait to start flipping in the other direction, or you can do what I do and sort of jerk your body to try and encourage that first flip. Once you get your first flip, the key is to keep the fins in the exact position you had them in. Do not move them at all. That will stop your spinning. I know it can be tricky to hold them in place when you're inverting that quickly, but that's what you need to do if you want to rotate out of control like I do. Some versions are easier to flip than others. It's a combination of speed, wind, and resistance. But with this method, I've almost never had a problem. So that is the process to flip a Gerslauer Sky Roller or Skyfly. Have you used this method with success? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this little instructional video, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.